dear brethren, I pray that all is well with you. Um, we're back again to encourage one another to live a life that is victorious in Christ Jesus. Um, I just wanted to quickly come and just share, um, maybe uh, enlighten you <laughs> on some things. Um, uh, we get a, sometimes we get uh, prayer requests or we come in contact with individuals who say they want to be used by God, you know, that they want their life uh, to be on the same wave and pattern as him. Um, you know, they just, you know, they want to be in tune with God. Well, we all know that God is a master builder. He's a master architect, right? What an architect needs to do before they can build on any foundation, you know, especially if there was something already erected, they got to bring that down. They have this called raising uh, in, in some um, uh, industries. It's called raising. That you have to pull down that building in order to erect. A new building. So sometimes when you ask that could be used of God, or um, you know, you you want you want uh, to things to start happening in your life, things all hell might break loose in your life in order for God to get your life together. Yeah, things have to go. He has to root out. He has to pluck up. You know, he has to. Dim, dim, uh, uh, some things have to, he has to dim, uh, use a demolition uh, process <laughs> in order to get rid of things, you know, uh, and burn out some things, uh, you know, to tear up things in order for him to be able to erect on a solid foundation the things that you ask for and the things that he knows that you will need in your life for the long haul. So, you know, be not dismayed. Don't say, oh, you know, look what happened after I started working for God or, I pray, you know, pray that I wanted to, to you know, work for him or be uh, more serious with him. Things are going to happen, unfortunately or fortunately, but just have faith in him. Know that he he's not going to put more on you than you can handle. Know, um, you know, that is for our good, you know, and the Bible tells us to give thanks in all things. So don't forget, just continue to thank him and worship him and know that he has not left you. He's right there. Although you're not, you might not see his hand uh, or whatever. He's there. He has not deserted you. He's right there with you, and he's for you. So just be reminded of that. Be encouraged to live a life that is victorious in Christ Jesus, always and forever. None of the, the apostles or the disciples had it easy. Jesus never had it easy. Life is not a bed of ease. We have to remember that. They teach that maybe in the world. They teach that over pulpits and different conventions or whatever, that's not a, it's not a, of a truth. You know, not that your life will be terribly afflicted all the time or anything like that, but know that things happen. Uh, they go, they're going to happen. And it's, uh, most of the time it's for our good is to, to strengthen us is to strengthen us and put us on the path and to strengthen our faith in God and to, for us to get closer to him. Cling to him. When people are leaving you, don't say, oh my goodness, why are people leaving? What did I do to offend somebody? Blah, blah, blah. You know, don't worry about it. God wants you to cling to him. It's more important that you cling to him than anything or anybody else. He's the way, he's the truth, he's the light, he's everything. So I love you very much. I pray that this exhortation enlightened you and blessed you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share this video, and go to our Facebook page as well. Our blog, uh, by the grace of God, will be, uh, is in preparation, I should say, and will be, you know, at some point uh, published. 
So anyway, thank you again for watching, and we love you very, very much. Bye-bye for now.